Captain, the big boom run isn't a stroll on the beach. You'll need an edge to make it back alive. This here is a Sorosub SSK Heavy Blaster. It's got for a quick draw and got a hair trigger. I call it Flashy. Flashy can bullseye Saver between the eyes five times before the critter even knows it's dead. Here, take it. If I take this, what'll you use in a fight? I can take care of business just fine with Huey here. Best of luck, Captain. Don't get killed, all right? Uh, you there. You got a second? Talk politics, talk shop, talk business maybe? I've got business to talk if you're interested in talking. Name's Gizmelkan. I'm with the government here. So what do you say? Interested in doing a little work for me? Uh, for you? For the Republic? I don't work for free, you know. There's a fair amount of pay involved. Not a lot, mind you. These are tough times, but this is important and well worth the reward. Here's the situation. I look after one of the outlying villages, and this village is, well, Faltering in its love of the Republic. People are restless, see? The Separatists bring them stuff, and they start thinking the Separatists are right. Then they get uppity, start talking about revolt, start getting violent. It's chaos everywhere. You need me to shoot some villagers? Shooting villagers is no way to win their hearts. I figure the best way to win the village over is to beat the Separatists at their own game. Lavish the villagers with gifts. Show them care, too. So I ordered a shipment of supplies, but now I get word the shipment's lost out in Saverp territory. I need someone to go get it. I guess I could have a look. Fine. Good. That's all I ask. Have a look. The shipment had a droid escort, I believe, so I'd look for that if I were you. It was last seen on Saverp Island. Saverps, you know. Massive, vicious beasts. Eat you for dinner as soon as look at you. must be here for my husband. I told Master Vidu he's gone out fishing. Would you like a sweet flat cake instead? It's fresh. I don't need your husband. Just those fancy chemicals he makes. Where does he keep them? Oh, he took his work with him. My butternut gets bored unless he has a dozen things to occupy him. If you don't feel like waiting for Trimbo, the walk out to him is lovely. The beach is so relaxing. 
Trimbo's at his fishing camp. He'll be thrilled to have some company. And now, excuse me, dearie, these rhodian peppers won't cook themselves. Don't stand there. That spot is reserved exclusively for my Gundark friends. You're clearly not a Gundark. Your ears are too small. Listen, do you smell that? There's a pot of Alderanian stew bubbling. But how could I smell it all the way on Ord Mantel? I'm betting you're completely insane. Insane? What? How, how dare you? Oh. Now I'm smelling Bakurin cloudberries. By the stars, those, those would taste awful in a Alderanian stew. Hmm, I do recall a man saying to expect a stranger coming for my chemicals. You seem pretty strange. Was he talking about you? You've inhaled a lot of chemicals, haven't you? Did my wife tell you that? She's been dead 20 years now. Don't listen to her. People haven't had much luck getting my chemicals. Know why? Those Ugnot assassins in the woods attack everyone who visits me. Just hand that thing over, Captain Crazy. How dare you? I'm a colonel! What you really need is a precision teleporter, but a former assistant crashed my prototype into the sun. Good luck, my friend. If you should explode, please feel free to come back and tell me all about it.
Everyone else has. He does it. I've got a storage unit here to stabilize the canister so it doesn't blow. There we go. I think I'll just stand way over here. It's completely stable now. I can't wait to let Rogan know the good news. Getting Trimbo's chemicals saved our necks, Captain. Rogan will be too busy selling them to think about the blasters. How about a little something extra for all my hard work? Sure, why not? I like you, kid. I really do. Buy yourself something fancy to kill Skavik with. I've got good news and great news, Captain. We cracked the Separatist computer files and found Skavik. Vidu, you promised you wouldn't get so excited. It isn't good for your heart. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but this is going to be great! Skavik won't even see us coming! Ha! I want Skavik to see my face before he dies. Before you fry him, make sure he knows I sent you. Skavik is taking the blasters to the Separatist base. Those wackos built their headquarters inside an old volcano. Crazy, huh? What do you expect from foaming at the mouth murderers? I wish that volcano would blow its top. Skavik's delivering the blasters to a psycho named Darek at the base. You need to get there first. When Skavik shows up, you can ambush him, grab your ship, and fly back here. Easy, huh? You're about to see a real live hero in action. Make that two heroes. I'm not sending you alone. Take Corso with you, Captain. The kid knows more about blasters and vibroblades than anybody I've ever met. I owe Skavik payback for taking Torchy. That was lower than low. It'll be nice to have some backup out there. <laughs> Glad you think so. Then it's a deal. You two head for the Separatist base, kill Darig, and ambush Skavik when he shows up. I've got a bottle of Chandralin brandy to open when you get back. When I'm done with Skavik, there won't be anything left to bury. I'd wish you two good luck, but I don't want to jinx anything. Just come back in one piece. <laughs> 